Hello Libra, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome, I am Nicole. Quick thank you to all the new subscribers, to those who have booked personal readings, donated to the channel for the likes, the views, uh, comments, shares. I appreciate all of you, thank you so very much. Libra, I'm sorry that this is getting out to you a little later in the week. Um, but nonetheless, you know, we take this reading, review the last couple of days, um, even the last week, and then moving forward through this week and next week. Um, <clears throat> I'm a firm believer that everything comes out in divine timing. So whenever you're watching this, this is when it's meant for you. Okay, so Libra, this is going to be your reading from November 13th through the 19th. Uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus cross watch. If that's you, welcome to the channel as well. Guys, discern the messages. Remember, rules can be reversed and timing is fluid regardless. So, all right, Libra, let's go into this and see what's going on. I will say to you, um, while I was, you know, channeling, doing a little bit of my own intuitive stuff, the co consistency popped up for you this week. Um, and I feel like for some of you where maybe you've had to be consistent in something, it's wearing you out. It's wearing you down. I think you want to put your focus on other things. <clears throat> it could pertain to legal matters that could just, it's, it's something about this is becoming old. Okay. Um, so it doesn't have to be legal. It can be contracts, soul contracts, um, matters, spiritual said matters of the heart, um, could have some third party energy attached to this. Um, it could be trying to influence the connectivity between you and somebody else this week as well. Um, I do feel like that there's a, um, not an ignorance, but a, um, you may not be aware of it. We'll, we'll go with that. Okay. We'll start there. Uh, an ignorance to what it is that's happening or the influence over, uh, you know, somebody may be trying to have on a partnership as well. Uh, there is also, um, this could also be the divine taking a look at what has brought a situation together as well. Very interesting message there that, um, it's almost like judgment is being passed upon two people. Um, so part of that third party could be, you know, I don't want to say karma, but judgment, you know, take, you know, spirit taking a look at a situation on whether or not a relationship or partnership of some kind is healthy or if they are ignoring a higher calling. Very deep message there, Libra. So... Um, whatever has not been fair and balanced, it will be in due time. Three months out could be very important as well. So what is that? Um, February, something pertaining to February, uh, calls could be, uh, there's, I don't know why we're going this far out when I'm shooting for this week, but this week could be influential to that time, time, time frame. Jesus. Um, but calls around February could be being made at that point as well. Judgment calls uh, pertaining to a situation. Generosity. Okay, let's see. All right, card for Libra, please. November 13th through the 19th spirit. Healing. Um, the, again, there's a self-trust. There's a, Libra, some of your readings get so deep for me. Um, pardon me, I've got an itch. Um, you've got the healing. You've got these two folks again. There's a lot of um, attention being put to two people almost trying to muscle their way through, whether it was through love or what they perceived to be loved or just perceived to be love, excuse me. This self-trust is somebody could be doubting. There's this distraction, sacrifice. Can they trust their own heart? Um, and it's, it's funny, I hear, I'm hearing Travis, yeah, Travis Tritz, can I trust you with my heart as I say this? Um, like, Somebody could be questioning, and this could even be, this could be somebody outside of the relationship dynamic, a third party going, do you really trust this? Um, 
do you trust the situation at hand? Do you trust this partnership? And it's not even about if it's fair or balanced. I think it's about the intention. Did you miss, we talked about that ignorance earlier. It was like a, a slip of the mouth, right? Um, that somebody was not paying attention to something and it, you know, this distraction card comes out and then it's self-trust. Like you may be gaining enlightenment Libra to something right now that this was not meant to go the distance. There's an awareness that's coming in. that's asking you to trust yourself, like to step into yourself. And it's funny. Um, I just did the daily reading and what the hell did I title that? Um, if you don't, if you can't trust it, it's a hard no, something to that extent. Seeing this come up again, there's always a reason that this comes out exactly, you know, to my time frames is when these videos come out, there's a reason behind that. And I stay steadfast in that. Um, but it's like, you're questioning, did I make a good decision? Did I just kind of gallivant off into a process of something with somebody that you know, we felt warrior-esque. We were stepping into something that uh, we came to, we, we seen it eye to eye at that point. Spirit's sending me back to this, this date of February. And I do feel like it's futuristic tense. I would also say, look back to February of this year. What was going on at that point? Was there some kind of lie or distraction that was being shown or being dealt with at that point based upon it could have been like a falsified foundation as well. Um, but I think moving forward into February, by February, there's going to be some very significant clarity. This new moon, and I've said it so much, it's not just been about manifesting. It's been about letting go. Hardcore letting go. The number seven may be very significant. And I just want to go, we go, um, July could have been important. And then, um, so what, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So September timeframe also could have been relative to something. So, you know, it's really requiring you to dig into where you got off track with something, where it is you got distracted away from yourself to not it's almost like you left a situation that was of you and got involved in partnership that was for the wrong reason. I don't know how else to explain that. This could be healing energy around this as well at this time. Um, mm, Libra. I feel like spirit just... I, I feel like somebody's putting their two cents in and you could also be dealing with a Taurus Libra. Somebody is putting their two cents into a situation. Someone is trying to bring an awareness. Uh, typically, I would say to you, um, when people don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but there's also that perception, that removed perception. And I talked about this, I think yesterday with um, Aquarius's reading, that to be on the outside of something and to see what's going on, like you need to remove yourself, take that step back to remove yourself, to see the big picture of something. Um, somebody may have that, that bird's eye view of what is happening here. And with that, they could be reaching out to one or both of you in this partnership going, this isn't right. This isn't okay. This is not healthy. Um, they're, they're adding, they're trying to bring in, and I feel like whoever this is, is really pushing the envelope around a situation going, you need to stop and think about this before you do this. Do you, do you truly trust? And I, I feel like this is a catalyst for you to acknowledge what it is that's within your heart space. What is it that sits with your morals, your ethics, and your values? Is it in alignment? because there's something about this situation that needs to be healed and it needs to be brought to a close. Okay, um, so let's see Libra, big, big message there for you guys. Um, just because you have the strength to do something doesn't mean you should do it also, okay? So, but yeah, someone is definitely inserting their two cents into a situation, trying to bring um, awareness, bringing awareness to something. <clears throat> 
I would, again, typically say to you, don't listen to what everybody else has to say. <clears throat> but I think that what this person is saying to you or to the other person is necessary. It's kind of like Spirit's way of putting in a guiding light to you that says, think about this. Pay attention to this. I see this. Do you see this? So it's, it's trying to spark, again, an awareness uh, to a situation that I don't think you would have seen it or may not have seen it, you know, any other way. The chariot, the six of swords. Again, I said earlier about the need to move, uh, move on, right? Moving forward. And this is kind of how this feels. It's like when I talked about um, the consistency of something wanting to let go of that wanting to move forward into something else because there's become too many um burdens attached to a situation wanting to close something out and move on to calmer water somebody else around you could also be pushing for this the the work that's being put in um it doesn't feel fulfilling at this point right it's like could this be done some other way it, it, it's, a, it's an energy of not working to build something that's long lasting. It's like somebody's missing the, the gratitude in a situation. Somebody could be lacking gratitude in a situation this week. Um, and it, you maybe feel like you're getting caught up and stuck in this. That's it, it's not allowing for forward movement to occur. Um, this could pertain to children, doesn't have to. Um, but definitely around the family and the home and how that the working progress is affecting it. I talked about that 10 of wands, complete, you know, there it is. And there's the world card, the, the sense of completion, the need of completion to a cycle to let, I just heard from spirit to let something go. It's time to let this go. Somebody could be telling you it's time to just put an end to this. It's time to let it go. Another card of communication, the daughter of swords or the page or the, yeah, the page of swords, temperance, the hangman again you know I said it again I think it was um, it was the daily reading today it was the knight of swords had come in page of swords is a communicator a, a learner an intellectual uh, trying to find an equivocal balance with this temperance a space of that healing that needs to happen to perspective shift with the hangman you know he's put himself like We'll call it out to dry but cocooned himself so it's like you may feel like you need to protect yourself from what it's almost like you don't under somebody else you may feel like somebody else doesn't have enough knowledge they don't know what you're talking about but they're still coming in with this advice they're still trying to give you some some sense of clarity to balance out um something that's going on in your world. And this daughter of swords to me, it's very innocent. It's very childlike. Um, and it could, and I'm still, I'm getting the idea of like this nurturing though. Like they they may not know how to approach a situation um, that's creating some fiery energy, some some tears, some upset. And they're, they're trying again to give that different perspective. They're trying to open you up to some type of wisdom around and regarding a situation. Um, they could hold some kind of emotional investment in this. So even if you are like, we'll just say you're married and this is your mother-in-law, we'll go with that, right? Um, she may just see something from the outside. It's like having, as much as she appears to be young and, and not knowing of things or may not spirits that understand the times there's a lot of vast knowledge that comes in with her because she's dealt with this time and before and typically again I would not see that with the daughter of swords the page of swords like they're young they're immature um, most often that, but there's an innocence the key thing is there's an innocence about what they see what they're knowing of what they're trying to convey um, they've been there done that I would say listen they, they are a messenger from spirit for you so very heavy 
energy with that. So we've got can Cancer, Pisces, and Sag also um, could be key players to this this week. Libra, I almost said Taurus. All right, what else? They're trying to keep you from destroying something that I think started off on a very positive note. Um, like they're they're coming in with with the most loving and pure intentions uh, in regards to a situation, and they could be the ones communicating that this is there's time. It's a time to move on. It's time to let go. Um, in regards to something, it, it's time to make a change. It, 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 healing, the healing absolutely needs to occur and they're trying to get you to trust trust in yourself like this I, this person whoever this is for you libra um or this could be tied to you somehow they have everybody's best interest at heart to avoid conflict somehow so what is this for libra this week Jesus. You hear that? That's, they're really trying to get your attention, clearly, right? <sighs> Libra, the, you know, the tower in the reverse, I, I could see it, oh gosh, you know, there's always one meaning, essentially, or a specific idea of a meaning behind all of the cards. When I see that tower in reverse, you know, it could be propping up false foundations. It could be, um, try, it's almost like trying to revive. I'm hearing trying to revive uh, a situation here. The seven of wands is some, something about this situation is standing out. It is, there's, there's attention being drawn to a situation in regards to a path that was taken. That death card. It's a dead end. And to continue to try to build upon that uh, is going to create more chaos. And it, this could pertain to your your home, your children, um, your family life, that Ten of Cups, right? Page of Wands is seeing somebody kind of... I'm not a fan of the Page of Wands. I never have been um, for the most part. But it's impulsive. It is to act, um, act without thinking. To just jump in and now that the dust is settling it's like there's one particular aspect of something that's sticking out and somebody else is very much aware of this there is an awareness happening here as to the path that's been taken and somewhere along the lines shit got flipped sideways something is not right there is um there could be the beginning of a loss here, Libra. The very beginnings of a, of a spirit is saying a new loss. There are things that are being um, adjusted to be cleared out of your path. And I feel like lately I have been, you know, for the longest time it was Taurus I was whooping on. But Libra, there there's some very deep lessons that are being taught to you. And I will say with the Aries and Libra, uh, north and south node it, it's it's karmic it, it, it's karmic situations and situationships that are pushing you to let go of this falsified way of doing things and I think that you're going to see this and I hate to be like you know don't shoot this messenger like I'm here for your higher good I'm here to help you I don't want to ever stop I want to see you guys excel um but we are our own destruction. We are our own mess. And it is spirit's way or someone else's way of coming in and going, this is done. You can no longer do this this way. This does not work. You have got to trust that this is not for your highest good. And again, you may see other people as um, naive or not understanding as to where you've been and where you're coming from, but they know whatever the rate and it's almost like an intuitive knowing or years of experience have been there done that i've seen this shit before i know how it ends um you're being pushed 
and things could be being pushed out of your life and you may feel like you need to guard that you need to safeguard that um you're not supposed to I, I don't know how else to say that you're just not supposed to it's supposed to move out of your way and i feel like there for some of you to be pissed at me and be in a sense of denial that's fine go back and watch this video in three months and then come talk to me you know um there's something about this situation that's standing out and I think that ultimately you're trying to keep, if it's coming from a sense of denial, you're trying to keep something established because I, for some of you, you may feel like you've got egg on your face or maybe some kind of embarrassment attached to this, um, a revelation of truth that it wasn't one way. There were multiple options to this. So there were multiple ways to a situation and now it's done. Um, oh, good golly. That is wild for a weekly reading. This this new moon could just be shedding light on that. Um, Spirit is also saying distancing. Somebody could be distance, distancing. You could be distancing yourself from a situation where you see this kind of stuff playing out. Um, but something is massively changing, Libra. And you're going to have to keep your emotions in check. So whether you're dealing with somebody else or somebody else is dealing with you, um, this could affect, it's time, this could affect your material world somehow. Okay? No, Spirit just said no more fighting. No more fighting. Put down the armor. Put down the, the you, you don't have to fight it anymore. There's no fighting that needs to be to be done. What's the advice for Libra, please, Spirit? Patience. I think somebody here has been patient surrounding a situation. Um, and now more patience is going to be required because things aren't working out uh, in a certain way. Or somebody could be pushing um, to, to make whatever this message is known they could be losing their patience as well. I, I feel like there's a lot of highly charged emotional energy, not just with you, and you could even just feel like you're collateral damage somehow. Um, but there's there's th it's definitely third party, so there's you, somebody else, and another person into this situation, or maybe more. Um, but I get a, a very strong feminine energy outside of this. Um, and if it, again, I, I would say if it's tied to family matters, this is like a mother-in-law or something like that. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's how it feels. Who is losing her patience for a situation? So what is this advice for Libra? What is this advice for Libra? Asking for help. That's the second time it was out on the cut there. Um, Reach out to other people for support. You could be reaching out for other people for support. I think other people too are all also offering that support. Some of you could feel isolated right now, um, in part by choice, and the other part is it just feels very lonely where you are. So um, you could be detaching yourself from the people that you also relied on at one time and, and deciding to um, make movement elsewhere you, you know maybe those people were a distraction in the past check in uh checking in is about checking in with yourself it's giving giving yourself more grace giving yourself more love giving yourself more time and space um what what are you what are you aware of it to me this is all this is like an internal and this could be an internal tower moment as well. Like it just, like I get this feeling from the pull from the gut is like, it's almost like a, a preemptive warning that shit's going to get wild for a hot second and you're going to have to be prepared to deal with this. You may not like what you hear. You may not like what you see. Um, but once these situations, check in with yourself before these situations happen and then check in with yourself after they happen. Like you may not want things to change. But I think once they change, there's a weight that is lifted off of you that you are able, even if you do have egg on your face, maybe you made some stupid decision um, that you're able to move forward from that, 
okay? And Libra, I'm just going to say this to you. I've got a Libra, Libra Venus, okay? Like, I'm not saying that this resonates or doesn't resonate with me, but what I'm going to say is this, like, please know I'm not trying to kick your ass. It affects me too <laughs> at the end of the day, right? Like, we're here to learn and to grow. We're here um, to rely on each other in some way, shape, or form so that we can move past whatever this debauchery is. Um, but you've got to get back to the center of self. But I do feel like somebody on the outside looking in here is going, hold on a minute. I think their intentions are pure, but you're going to have to decide if you trust that. Because that's what this is going to boil down to. Do you trust what they're telling you? Because if you don't, why? If you do, why? So, um, Libra, goodness, I wasn't prepared for that today. Um, if you found this video resonating, you can like, subscribe, comment, and share the channel as well. Those of you interested in personal readings, that information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. And I wish you guys a really good week. Let, let this new moon bring those emotions to the surface so that you can move forward in a, in a prosperous way. Okay? Um, and then mid-months will be out. Mm, maybe starting today. If not, then tomorrow. So I'm sending you guys tons of love. Uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.